I didn't know Frank until maybe like his eighth grade year. Um, and he, then he said that he was gonna come here and like coaching him has been such a, a joy, man. Like just to see him grow into the person that he's becoming. I think he was around eight or nine. Um, he started playing uh, basketball in New London. He's a whaler for life. We, he wasn't born here, but he came here uh, as a six year old. We lived in New London, New London is home to us. So he started playing and from that age, you know, you could see that he was something special, you know. So I met Frank when I was working at Isaac Middle School as a paraprofessional. We grew this bond. You know, in those years, we would go play basketball. Some of the things that were clear about Frank is he's a competitor. He's probably one of the hardest workers I've ever been around. And it's not just on the court, it's off the court too. You know, he takes his schoolwork serious. He takes everything that he does serious. Like you couldn't ask for a better kid to coach. He's one of a kind. Frank's just an all around a great kid, you know, and uh, actually I should say a great young man now, you know. He just turned 18, as you know. Um, he just doesn't, see, doesn't cease to amaze me. Um, he's taking a great opportunity to come to this school make the best out of it and, you know, make sure he gets ready for the ne next day in his life. So always worrying about everybody, you know, so selfless. I always say that's the quality about him that I admire the most because that's not an easy thing to do. He just been this great kid who's very passionate, very talented, very respectful, and just an all around good kid. He takes a backseat to nobody that I've ever been around. You know, I've been around guys that have played professionally and all that and he really wants to be great. And, you know, that's a special quality that not many people have. You know, down the future, I honestly think that what I can say is that whatever he decides to do, you know, whatever career path that he chooses, you know, he's still deciding on that. He's gonna make it, you know, and he's gonna be successful. He'll be able to be a member of any community that he lives in and you know be you know example to kids uh he's going to be an involved person you know with his family you know i just his his determination is incredible you know so he's just going to be successful i think i think people that are like frank that are very strong-willed that are very passionate i believe in like the law of attraction man. anything you want in life you know you invest faith and you know it's, it's for you. you know what I mean as long as you believe it then you can go get it. With somebody like Frank and watching his passion specifically for basketball right now I see Frank in the future um, in some way shape or form being involved in sports whether it's him playing ball professionally whether it's him coaching whether it's him being involved in sports medicine whether it's one-on-one -on -one training I think as long as his passion is here that you know in some way shape or form he'll figure out a way to be involved um, in sports. Beyond that though, if he ever, you know, deviated from his passion for sports and it ended up being placed elsewhere, I think he's just the kind of kid that could make anything happen in life that he sets his mind to. I'm not sure what exactly he would be doing, but I know that whatever he does, he puts a thousand percent into it. And I know that he'll be successful at whatever he wants to do, you know, whether it's, you know, business wise or, you know, being a teacher or Whatever it may be, I just know that he'll be successful at it because he just worked so hard. You know, sometimes I tell people, like you could tell a lot about a person by the way that they play basketball. The way he is on the court is kind of similar to the way he is off the court. You know, like when he plays so hard and gets after it, and I tell our kids and everybody all the time, like I think he's the best defender in the state, you know? He, he disrupts everything that the other team is trying to do, you know? And he picks up 94 feet every single game. And will play the whole game and still in the fourth quarter be able to pick up 94 feet. You know, so like, that's one quality about him that I've seen that is like, it's special, man. And the, there's not many people that can do that. And you know, seeing, kids on the other team like literally be petrified to bring the ball up and won't bring the ball up against them because 
he's just that good. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like that's a quality in him that I see that is like, as a coach, you couldn't ask for anything more. I think as far as, you know, Frank being successful in this life, it's just embedded in his, in his character to figure that kind of stuff out. What I would hope for Frank and what I would tell Frank, my message for him is to always have fun doing it. Um, don't just be so caught up on what he wants the end results to be and enjoy every part of the process. Every step of the way, I want Frank to just enjoy himself, to love life, and to love even the, the tough times and the things that he's pursuing. And he's gonna be good regardless. Just keep being him, man. Just keep doing what he's doing. I'm a firm believer in like, you know, kids can change and people change and all the other stuff, but sometimes who you are at 18 is probably gonna be who you are at 28, you know? And I don't see him changing, you know? And I just, it's been a pleasure, honestly. They won't understand until later, like how much they've done for this program. You know, when I got here, St. Bernard's wasn't thought of as one of the best teams in this league or people knowing about St. Bernard's as far as, you know, in Hartford or New Haven or any of those places. And they've been a part of that. And they should be extremely proud of themselves for really turning this program into something, into what it is, you know, to win four straight ECC titles you know, to do those things. Like that's special and that's something that they can look back upon and be really, you know, proud of. So I'm just, I'm gonna miss them, man. And I'm proud of both of them and, you know, the way they've matured.